Tonight, we take a closer look at the troubling trend of housewife addict. And CBS 2's Lena Wynn is here now to show us how women are finding hope and help after addiction. Yeah, Pat and Rick, there used to be this notion that a hard bed and a cold meal was the way to get someone out of their addiction. But today, experts say the longer addicts stay in treatment, the more likely they'll get and stay sober. At a center called Promises in Malibu, the approach is to put a cold, hard addict into a warm, cozy home. What were you addicted to? Chardonnay. Chardonnay. <laughs> only Chardonnay. <laughs> I was a wine snob. I think that's the only reason I'm alive today, is that that was the only thing I drank was Chardonnay. Whether it's alcohol or drugs. The pain medication, suddenly it just went click, and I said, wow, that feels good. An alarming number of women are becoming addicted, and it's tearing families apart. One of the first things that you hear from spouses is they'll say, oh, he or she, they're so irresponsible. And what that usually means is they were too high to take care of business. Another warning sign, changes in sleeping habits. My waking hours I was drinking, so there was no sleeping because that means I didn't have a cocktail in my hand. Kelly ended up in the hospital four times before anyone uttered the possibility that she may have a problem. They're about to get fired. Their spouses packed their bags. They wrecked their car on a tree. Some crisis usually brings people to treatment. I was like 94 pounds and my eyes were yellow, I mean like yellow, and um, I was gray, so I was dying. Forget about any notion you may have had about what an addict looks like. They're teachers, lawyers, even doctors. And for most of them, the only treatment center that's going to work doesn't look like a hospital, it looks like a home. Known for serving celebrity clients, the majority of people treated at Promises in Malibu are professionals, CEOs, teachers, bankers, and housewives like Laura. While I was here, I had a therapist who was fantastic. She was a mom, too, so she understood. For moms facing rehab, one of the biggest fears is leaving their children. I was scared to death. I had never left my children before, and my youngest was eight months old. But her children visited on weekends, and while it wasn't easy... I cried every day uh, for probably two weeks. The six-week program got her sober. Promises doesn't look like a rehab center. Cozy bedrooms, really a home away from home where addicts go through detox. And because no medicine can completely alleviate withdrawal symptoms, they're also offered acupuncture, neurofeedback, and massage therapy. I just need a little bit of time, somewhere safe to go, to put a little time between me and the drink because my head gets fuzzy. I don't think straight when I'm, when I'm drinking or I'm using pills. I just, I'm not myself. Perhaps more importantly, they're also treated for the psychological problems like depression or PTSD that often go hand in hand with addiction. There was a very strong feeling of being safe here. And I knew that I was being taken care of, but I really just wanted to go home. I thought that that was the place I needed to be rather than realizing that this is where I needed to be to be able to have a home life. Kelly's been sober four and a half years now. Laura has struggled, relapsing a couple of times in the past two and a half years and is now almost four months sober. Both were terrified and ashamed to get treatment. The shame comes from when you're in your active addiction. I'm somebody who had a problem and I decided to do something about it. There's no shame in that. And now they have their lives back. I get up in the morning and it's like I'm excited to be alive. I'm grateful. I have an amazing relationship with my children. And that is just everything to me. Well, they say the hardest part is making that first call for help, but know that it can change your life. Promises also has a very strong alumni program that both ladies say is the reason they're able to stay sober or go back if they've relapsed. For more information on treatment, just go to our website, cbsla.com.